This video is just to show you what intuitive and gut healing way eating looks like. This is not how I eat every day. Happy Tuesday everyone. So I'm just filming what I eat in a day vlog. And uh, Tuesday is the most hectic day of the week because it's the first starting day of the week for us at ASC. Um, but I just quickly wanted to take you with me and to show you what I eat in a typical day um, and what I really actually eat. So it's about 7 in the morning. I'm on my way to the gym and the first thing that I'm consuming is this truffle right here. This is a coconut truffle by Protein Bake Shop. I'm just going to eat two of these and I'm going to head out straight for my workout. I usually prefer to fast in this uh, phase of my cycle, but today just felt a little different, possibly because I'm headed to workout. I don't necessarily believe or follow eating a pre or a post workout meal, but this is just what I'm doing today. This is just what I feel like doing today. And this is what intuitive eating looks like. But on my, on my way to the gym today, I'm going to train my legs. I'm going to fry these legs today. And I'll just show you what I'm eating for breakfast later. It's around 10 right now and I just got back from the gym. We've got this beautiful ripe avocado for breakfast and this is what I'm going to be eating for breakfast today. It's around 12 right now and I have to visit Salo for my hair appointment but I know this place is going to be like 60 minutes away from where I am so I'm going to pack my lunch, carry my lunch, a little bit of snacks, some coconut water, my electrolytes, my minerals, my hydration, my food, my snacks, my salt and all of these things just to take care of my diet and just to you know sort of rely on what I am carrying with me rather than relying on what I may or may not get outside. So carrying food is one of the tips that I usually generally follow and I'm so glad that I can showcase this to you today. So yeah. I don't know how long I'm going to be at the salon so I just for safety I'm carrying a lot of things. I have this coconut water going on, I have some banana chips and the only three ingredients are bananas, salt and coconut oil. How clean is that? I also have some vegan dark chocolate just for safety. I'm also carrying some mixed vegetable fried rice paneer and I'm just keeping all of these things handy just in case I need it. So it's around 5 in the evening and I've just made myself this coconut milk iced matcha. I just really very quickly made it because I did end up eating late lunch because of my appointment and um, that's the reason I'm just sort of going in with a cooling drink. It's cooling, it's hydrating and I truly really enjoy the nutritional properties of this drink. I always 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 prefer something so a basic rule that i will go by is every time i open my mouth to have a sip of something or to have a bite out of something i am getting in some nourishment it's not something that's just empty so i took this coconut water with me um for my appointment and i did end up just sipping on it a little bit i had to drink all of it but i forgot this in my car so i just came out i had my lunch in the car and after about 30 40 minutes I had a few sips of it. Now I'm just doing this matcha drink for coconut milk. There's no sugar or anything. It's just water, matcha and coconut milk. So good fatty acids and great saturated fat, great for the heart health, matcha and all of these things. I'm just going to take a few sips out of this. And in the evening time, this would usually be the time where I would actually put in some thought to, towards, okay, I need to eat this for dinner or I can eat this for dinner or what do I feel like eating? So today I'm just going to have some proper soup with a side of um, appam style pizza so it's just going to be plain appam made out of rice and coconut milk but with lots of vegetables on top all of them 
egg is going to be cooked or baked and I'm going to just top it off with lots of cheese, some oregano, some dill, parsley, um, salt, pepper and all of the good things. So like all of the herbs and spices that can give me my macronutrients, some paneer that can give me my great fat and uh, it tastes yum and it's just going to be, you know, great source of great protein content, complete protein and appam. I love appam and you also get resistant starch, fermentation, rice and all of these things. So that's sort of the thinking that goes behind when I'm sort of trying to, you know, figure out so as to what to eat what not to eat and this is something that i live by 90 percent of the times i have to sort of force myself to do i just feel very natural this way and i have eaten three meals in a day there's absolutely no snack i also showed you the chocolate that i was carrying with me but i was just carrying it with me for safety because um traveling long distances makes me nauseated um so i just wanted to have a little something but i did not end up eating any of those i just ended up eating my lunch with a little bit of banana chips but uh, the dark chocolate is as it is and i'm just going to completely skip it for the day i do not get any cravings i don't feel bloated i don't feel acidic my stomach feels great my body feels great my energy is great i don't feel like napping i don't feel like sleeping um i can just go on i'm just going to film another youtube video right now i can make myself a drink so these are all parameters that you know sort of help me understand my health and the parameters that i want others to understand about so as to what does good health mean and how does that you know how is possibly that is going to look like on other people so this is usually how my day looks like i um, love, love, love being a little gluten and lectin free. So I am 90% gluten free on almost 70 to 80% lectin free only because this way of eating really, really suits my gut. I've had painless periods. My skin feels great. My hair feels great. Um, my body feels great. Of course, when it comes to the way I look, I'm not exactly where I wish to be. I do wish to be more leaner and more toned and definitely more stronger. But I think that is something that is going to happen over a span of a lot of months or maybe one year or two years, who knows. But until then, my, my biggest focus is to how do I feel and that ultimately affects how I look. Um, how is my skin and hair? How is my period? Like I need to know about these things and am I bloated? Am I having digestive issues? Am I constipated? Am I feeling acidic? Am I feeling, you know, am I farting all day and all of these things? If these things happen, I really cut out a lot of things from my diet and I go back to normalcy. And thankfully my body always supports me. So this is something that is going to tell you about what good gut health looks like to me. And you don't necessarily have to be gluten-free, lectin-free, dairy-free, non-vegetarian-free, egg-free and all of these things unless you are following a proper elimination protocol then something like this is going to be extremely extremely handy and useful but for most people um you know if you've already done the elimination protocol or if you already know what suits you and what doesn't suit you you can always cater it to you know what your body is like and what your preferences are and how you define health rather than just blindly following a dietitian or a nutritionist or a health coach doctors bloggers influencers diet and all of these things and my my message from what I eat in a day to just show you that you don't have to eat all day, you don't have to snack all day, you don't have to feel heavy after your meals, you don't have to be bloated after your meals, you don't have to be lethargic after your meals or without your meals for that matter, you don't have to be hangry and cranky, you don't need to have cravings, you don't need to constantly eat meat and sugar and spicy and kata and just you know just sort of savor all of these tastes. As beautiful as these things are, you don't constantly have to be all about food, it just has to be a little sorted and it took me two three years to be at a place where I feel completely sorted and satiated and happy and just really really happy to have the body that I have and the gut that I have and the hair that I have the skin that I have etc etc so the whole message is I personally believe in intuitive eating not dieting but this would not be something that would work for let's say an athlete or someone who loves the calorie counting model and someone who loves the concept of BMI and BMR and all of these things. So this is something that is not for you and that's just not your path and that's completely okay, right? So you don't have to necessarily demean one thing to empower another thing. We can all be beautiful together. We can all be empowered together without, you know, sort of pulling each other down. But intuitive eating, if that is not for you, you can always, always, always move to the calorie counting method. And if calorie counting is not for you, you can always come to this side of the ocean and just see what this feels like and if it doesn't work out it's a beautiful life it's a long life and hopefully you know you can explore more
for and sort of come to a conclusion. Barely able to hold the phone and the soup, but my broccoli soup is right here. Looks so yum and smells gorgeous. With this soup, I think I'm going to be eating some Arkham based pizza that we talked about. And I'll just quickly show you how it looks like. Right here is the last drink of the day. It's just my bedtime tea. Um, chamomile, I really prefer having this before I go to sleep. It really, really just sort of winds me down and gives me a great night of sleep. Not that I'm dependent on it, but I really prefer sipping on this and then just going to bed. It's part of my nighttime self-care routine. So I really, really look forward to this. I had a pretty good day, pretty decent day. I should put the tea down. So I had a pretty good day, pretty decent day. I am looking forward to tomorrow, but more so I'm looking forward to relax tonight and just call it a day. I really, really hope that you found this video helpful. And if you would love to see more of these in the future, please do not forget to comment the same down below. And I look forward to hearing from you. Until then, take care of yourself. Bye.